Last night was amazing. Wait, are you talking about the put together we did on the case, or that? But the put together that was pretty amazing too. Wow, <sighs> it's been forever since we tried that. I forgot how creative you can get. No, we're not talking about the case anymore, are we? Mm -hmm. How long before the fight? Before it gets there. Before what gets there? You were about to say files, weren't you? No. Oh, you texted Ryan last night about Sheena's old boyfriend and told him to get those old police files for you while you were in bed with me. Hey, Ryan, I'll be right over. Well, you can let me take a look at those files, right? I mean, that's only fair. Castle? <laughs> I can't. That would be crossing the line. You didn't seem to care about lines last night. No, last night it was Anything Goes. Yes, Castle. And it was great. Come on. We both know it was just a one-time thing. You know, I thought we had something special. Is that the file? Yeah, and it looks like your 2 a.m. hunch paid off. What were you doing up so late anyway? I was working on the case. Huh. Well, I don't know what Shana was looking to find in that report, but it refers to witness statements taken at the party where Shana's boyfriend, Jeff Whalen, died. But the witness statements, as well as the list of people who gave them, they're all missing. The file's been tampered with. It looks that way. When I called over to Radner, they said that those pages must have been lost when their records were digitized 10 years ago. What about the officer that wrote the original report? He passed away a few years back. Okay, if the information is missing, then what did Shana learn from this report that got her killed? According to the guy in the records department, when Shana finished with the archives, she asked for directions to the alumni office. Now, I, I placed a call over there, but they don't open for another half an hour or so. Oh, how'd it go to Castle last night? Is he ahead of us or behind us? Oh, we're definitely on top of him. 